Amy's already gone ahead. It seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. Ye varmints. Hey, it's our boy Knucklehead. What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell her, either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something. Boy, he's hiding something. He killed Sonic! I know better than to argue at Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Cosmeto, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. You don't even look like you want to be a part of it. So we're going to look for everything. The robotic arms are really helpful. Yeah, I don't like that arm. I think... I think the arm did something. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. I, I, here I am thinking it's bad and it's fixing my... That's probably what it wants me to think. Hey, look at this. This is cool. You can change the logo. Howdy, partner! Spittoon free establishment. Cosmeto, this is interesting. What? What is it? It's just a... Literally, it's just a few cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was... <laughs> probably. Cosmeto, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> It doesn't work with those lips. Let me tell you, Knuckles is more of a violet man. And then we have a bowl of classic, it's a saloon snack. Crunch, 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 kind of bland. Oh, he's eating it. Huh, seems like someone licked all the salt off him. Uh, what? Blech, ah. <laughs> Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's as they say, one man's trash has another man's treasure. Ha <laughs> ha. Dot dot dot. I think Tails is ignoring me. Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball. What? Dude, I haven't touched that game in a minute. Super Monkey Ball was one of the best games of all time. One of the best. Okay. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. <laughs> That's amazing. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Knuckles, Cosmito and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It, it is? I, I don't even know what's going on, but Tails knows. Yeah, of course, he was gaming, he smashed it, of course. The arcade machine? Ha! <laughs> What makes you think I touched it? Think like Sonic, everybody. Think. The only way to determine that Knuckles smashed it is we can collect rings to really manipulate the situation. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got my idea of why you smashed it with your hands, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just the sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. <gasps> How will you? I'm on it. Cosmeto, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! So I'm fighting him with my thoughts? I will say, this is a fun way of trying to figure out the clue because it, 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 it is hard. It, it's hard to do, but this is, this, is, this is exciting. The arcade machine is fixed. No! Don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! Yeah, look at the scores. What happened? Vector beat him by one point! The picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score, and Vector beat you! And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me! Vector's a common name. Dude, so much thought is getting put into this, man. R li listen, Knuckles, it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's it's not the end of the world, homie. Oh, crap. Ha 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 ha! I did it! I did it! And I will tell you why Vector is not just a common name. I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you while you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. And you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... I'm... 
It's not like we went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. What about the cups with the lipstick mark? Hmm. Ruse was in here too. Aha! I knew it! I knew it was our girl, Ruse! She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name of that high score list. It doesn't make sense. Cosmeto, can you look at it one more time? Ultimate? Oh. You may not know Cosmeto, but there's someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much in the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was gaming too? You gave me this before I left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. Well, what happened to the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors, and what was Drew searching for? I don't know, they didn't even tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent, give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. All right, everybody, to the library! Oh, the library looks so cute. Oh, look at the little chow. It says hang in there. That is so cute. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already? Before you go, Espio and I wanted to give you your presents. <gasps> My presents? You're both so sweet. Thank you. Hmm. Vector, it seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Have you found any leads yet? Oh, d the detective bear needs help from the birthday girl. This tip is too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. I'm Vector the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And I'm Espio the Poet. Oh my god, I forgot. Espio's very, uh, it's very poetic, yeah. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from Poet to Reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic approach. Okay. Can you guys walk through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We have explained this to Amy, actually. Oh, they have mapped it everything out, too. When we were all set off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got so bored he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on the cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walking through the casino car, then entered the library and I locked the door. Oh, by the way, I I'm terrible at reading sometimes, so if I mess some words up, I'm sorry. I, I, I literally read between the lines. It sucks. Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up on Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by rolling the monkey action, I hardly noticed when Son Shadow left the saloon car. Like I said, I'm terrible at this. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then he returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out of flora and everything, but every book on these shelves is alphabetical order but this one. The Mirage Express Manual. Interesting. And it seems like there's so many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. Tails. <laughs> I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. That c Oh, the poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Yeah, he likes that arm a lot. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's I hate to say it, but nothing's in here. <laughs> Keep looking in the trash. Are you sad there is nothing in the trash bin? <laughs> No, I'm all right. I'm sure there'll be something in the trash bin we find. <laughs> you really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These trash bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. Cosmeto, you're pretty unconventional, but I like it. All right, we're gonna interrogate these two. So, the two of you don't believe us, huh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Cosmeto and I are here are to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if SPO really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to visit evidence if- Oh, that's easy. I got bored. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, 
We were instructed to mingle. I remember the arcade machine and the saloon bar, so I figured I'd check it out. SBL, you said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was. Once SBL started reading, it didn't stop till he's done. I've seen it happen. If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what that book might be. Cosmito, could you help me out? All right, let's talk about the Mirage because he's a ninja. You think SBL was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? I'll tell you, with the power of my brain. All right, that was easy. These are books scattered around the floor for sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual out and put it back in the correct place. <laughs> this lack of attention to detail isn't normally like USBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like- Calm down, Victor. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. That is indeed the book I was reading, the Mirage Express Manual. Trends are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Cosmeto, if you don't mind, could you ask SBO some questions about the manual? Just flip the page and ask away. Okay, um, what efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms, during the events they can- Okay, he's got it. All right, I you now I'm gonna- I'm using Co- I'm using Cosmetos. I'm using Shadow's Lock to determine that's who also saw him read the book. So we just want to make sure it was all lined up. All we're doing is just trying to make sure they're not fibbers and liars. This is giving me huge Mega Man vibes. I don't know if anybody's ever played Mega Man, but this is what it is. I got an idea! Shadow walked to the library car to get to salute. In the, in the Wow. Shadow walked to the library car to get the saloon car, where he set the original high score in the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't the high score long. Cracks are natural gamers. SBL said he saw the entire library car, but he mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, SBL was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car, so there's obviously no way Shadow and SBL didn't notice one another on Shadow's return. Uh, I mean, it was a simple slip up. I was just fully immersed by my book and I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? So SBO's a little liar. He's a little fibber. He probably used his ninja skills. That's probably what happened. This is actually really stressful. Oh my God, look at all these spikes for no reason. Dude, I'm a genius. I can think better than any other person or animal in the entire world because I have the power of my <laughs> dream gear. The library map. Oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from another, a straight path. If Shadow walked the straight path, there's a way SBO and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could SBO have been for Shadow to not see him? Probably right here. Interesting, that's where I was sitting reading my book. Hey! <laughs> nice. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, SBO was in the same spot. That confirms it. You see, Shadow and SBO couldn't have seen one another from this spot because the bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen SBO. Interesting. All right, so there you go. There we go. He couldn't have been seen. Oh, God. Without another poem from SBO. A murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock, tock goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. All right, easy. Easy peasy. We're outie. That was, hey, the casino. We are in the casino. This is fun. This is exciting. All right, I'm gonna save this and stop it right here. We'll talk to these guys later. Guys, that was an actual fun, exciting moment we had with them. So Knuckles, Espio, uh, and Vector, we were hanging out with them. And uh, it turns out Knuckles just has anger issues and Vector and Espio are just chilling and got bored. So we're gonna see what's going on with these two ladies right here. I doubt Blaze is actually gonna hurt Sonic and I don't think, uh, I think, I think Shadow is investigating something. Like, maybe he thinks something's up. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this part. Until next time in part three, I will see you guys in the next one. I am Cosmeto, and that just happened. Bye, guys.